What's up everyone and welcome back to another Maya tutorial. Today I want to talk about marking menus and the hotbox system. It's custom made only in Maya so you will find that uh, tool only in Maya and not in other 3D packages and it's actually a tool that's trademark. Uh, it's trademark for Maya only and it allows you to work faster if you know how to use it. So let's have a look at how it works. Uh, I'm here in a workspace and uh, I'm going to create for now a polygon sphere just to have it here in the scene. Uh, it's going to help us uh, later on to visualize how to use this. Now, let's say that, for example, I want to um, create, uh, select a face, just a very simple operation here in Maya by selecting a face. I would left click on my mouse and because I'm hovering on top of the sphere, I get options that are pertaining to this specific uh, piece of geometry, the sphere, right? And uh, number one here is, for example, selecting the face. I could be selecting the edge or I can be selecting vertexes. So for example, let's say if I select vertex, I get all the vertexes in a specific um, model and I'm able, if I press W, to transform and move them around. So that's one thing I could do. I could, for example, select faces and quickly I can select mul multiple faces on a geometry and then start moving it around like this okay uh, that's something that you can quickly access uh, at any second by just you know left clicking if i just left click and i'm back in object mode it pulls me out of any selection that i might have if i want to go back i can select edges for example and start selecting edges and multiple edges by holding shift on my keyboard now, those are the options that you get with the marking menu. So this is a marking menu. Uh, you will be able to create custom marking menus if you want to your liking, so that when you open the marking menu, you just get things that you might need. Because, for example, you might not need the UVs here, so you might be able to create your own uh, marking menus. But let's look at the hotbox now, because we'll look at the custom marking menus in another video. So how do you do the... How do you pull up the... Hotbox. Well, you press space on your keyboard and the hotbox appear anywhere in the viewport where you've decided to press uh, space. It, ha it appears anywhere, actually, when you're clicking in Maya. So, in general, I tend to use it where my model is. And what this gives me is the option of actually selecting everything that's featured in the menu up here. Um, in a nice and easy way. So for example, uh, now that I know that I want to, for example, select uh, a face on my model here, what I will do is select the model, use my marking menu, select the face, and then go in the hotbox. And then within the hotbox, what I will do is go under edit mesh. And here I will find something that's called extrude, okay? And now when I clicked on that, I am able to use the manipulators to extrude this face, okay? So that's one way to work and do this. Obviously, when you start working in Maya and you know uh, how to move around quickly, you can select, for example, a face and click Control E. With Control E, you start extruding, okay? But that's the next step. The most important thing is to understand that you don't want to waste a lot of time navigating in Maya. And what you don't want to do definitely is, for example, selecting a face, then going under modeling, and then going under uh, edit mesh to find your extrude option and start extruding that way. Because trust me, as, as you start um, working in Maya, any additional operation that you're creating at the end of the day accumulates and you end up wasting a lot of time by searching where which option is and by using the hotbox for example like here you're able to uh, quickly find the options that you might be searching for without the need to go somewhere and dig deep within the menus now explore this if you use your marking menu with alt uh, uh, with the control, for example, you get one thing. If you use your marking menu by um, by pressing the uh, middle mouse button, you get something else. Uh, for example, if you use left mouse button in combination with shift, you get uh, different types of um, of um, of options. 
So explore the marking menus um, because they're very useful and try to remember um, how they work. That's it for the marking menus and the hotbox. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That will help us a lot. See you in the next video.